Having no choice but to take the escape from Birmingham route, we hit I-65 ready to get our spring break started with our first stop in Fairhope, Alabama. As we crept slowly down 65, we watched the sunset, saw our arrival time implode before our eyes, and we hoped everyone involved in the fender benders were okay. After arriving at the campground two hours later, we found our site and called it a night. That's convenient. Well, now that's just wrong. I mean, it's like, it's like right there with bags. Who would do that? That's disgusting. Hey, love. Good morning. <laughs> you got full clothes on already. About to go run off and have some fun. What you doing today? Trailer stuff this morning, right now. What you doing? What you got to do? Water rally. I mean, what you got to do to the trailer? I'm gonna dump in the great tank and stuff for y'all. Oh. Okay. We took showers last night. I don't want to fill up while we're gone. Okay. Right. I thought you had noticed something. No. Oh, okay. Got us all hooked up. Water. All our sewer lines. Looking dress, right dress. And power. Be safe. Well, good morning. We are waking up at Fairhope Landing RV Resort in Fairhope, Alabama. This is, of course, a new park for us, and we are here because Jonathan has a water rally that he's attending in uh, Fairhope um, at Beach Camp. Um, so he has a full day planned for this Saturday and uh, I think a half day on Sunday, but he's going to go and do that, and he brought us here to just hang out at this beautiful campground. It's a really, really new campground. Um, I think probably within the last maybe a year or two it was constructed, but well laid out. Um, if you were worried about watching your kids while you're on the RV trip, this would be the place that you would want to come because you could literally see the entire park. They have some, you know, new trees that they've planted that probably in about the two years, three years will fill it in a little bit, but it's a really nice park. Don't know what this day is going to hold. As you can see, it's a cloudy, kind of foggy day, but uh, we're gonna get some breakfast. The boys got their bikes out. Daniel has been cleared to actually ride his bike. The orthopedic doctor said that it looked like his leg was healing well enough so that he could do stuff like that. So we are gonna get this day started. But first, breakfast. While the biscuits cooked, I decided to stretch my skills on the business side of the RV. This place says it has cable as well as one of the amenities. So I'm gonna <laughs> make an attempt to uh, see if I can figure that out. Cause the weather's not looking like, you know, it may hold up for long. So we may be spending some time 
in the trailer. So, okay, it's not in there. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay. Now, where does it go on the trailer? That's the next. <laughs> It's the next thing. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. There it is. Get that on. Do the trick. All right. Good deal. I did that. Well, before I go congratulating myself, let me see if the cable actually comes on. We'll try that. After finding the auto scan option and turning off the antenna booster, I was on the right track to get the cable working. First step, find the tire pressure. What does it tell you? You see it? 65 PSI. No, what does it say? 65 PSI. No, read the whole thing. It says 40 minutes, 65 PSI. Minute, minimum, minimum 40. 40. Maximum, maximum 65. 65. Oh, I thought they said 40 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Accident waiting to happen, JD. So, minimum 40 psi, maximum 65. Daddy said put about 50 in each. Yeah, I like so that. So, you said it, you put it turned on first. Turn on. All right. Daniel's trying to. Remember how daddy told him to do this. <laughs> on two wheels I love it as Daniel rolled off on two wheels I laced up eight First time attempting to roller skate <laughs> at an RV park. I, I've skated before, but you gotta watch out for the rocks. And it's downhill a bit. <laughs> Get some speed up. I like the speed. I think they did the perfect for the sake of drainage, but it's a mean uphill. You're some kind of 
We all found our own special ways to get ourselves moving while enjoying the great outdoors. So much so, we decided to move ourselves to another location. He's actually on the board of the Alabama River Alliance. So um, nice. he got invited and um, um, we to keep things clean and stuff, that sort of thing. Yes, keep, awesome. keep our rivers, our lakes and rivers That's right. clean. That's awesome. And um, we got invited down here and I'm like, what's the closest place to there? Yes. And we found y'all. Yeah. So, hey, I'm and so if, glad you did. Yes, and we have enjoyed our stay so far. So, whoops, push. Thank you so much. Y'all uh -huh. have a great day. <laughs> Same to you. So, got checked in this morning and was given the mug with all my little check-in details. And she asked me, did my husband drink coffee? So, she gave me two mugs, which is awesome. Very, very nice. state park like mm -hmm. we had a slight change of plans Jonathan's water rally sits on a bay and um, he called and there were beautiful black ladies fishing and so I was like you didn't tell me it was gonna be beautiful black ladies fishing. Had I known that, I fit right in with that group. So, um, I'm here, but they are about to go into another session and I'm about to fish. The boys have decided to just kind of walk the property, run the property, bike the property. But yeah, this is a much better view than what we had at the campground. So, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Love it. All right, y'all. I'm about to try this A rig again it's on a bay, so we'll see what it do out here. Fresh shrimp. Oh. Shrimp rig. I ain't gonna never catch nothing. Uh, I got, I got. I'm trying to think. Do I have some bites now? If it, if it's a flounder, what I've learned when I caught that, that one, um, it feels like you're gonna be dragging some at the bottom. Okay. And you don't jerk it. You just pick your whole pole up and just bring the line over. Okay. Oh. She in frame, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying one of my contraptions that I've tried before and didn't I have luck with on a lake. So I'm like, let me try it on the bay and see if it works. Okay. But I ain't had much luck. Is it an Avery? Have you ever seen one of those? So the, I've seen one. <laughs> now somebody luck. actually fishing with it, no. <laughs> well, the first time of everything. And uh, it ain't working for me too good right now. I done cast about four, five times with it and uh, nothing. But I'll have to see if I got it. I know I have some artificial shrimp. Or I'll have to see if, if I can. Uh, I told, I told Mark to do it. I hear it. I was like, you took the flounder luck with you. <laughs> yeah, usually 
say that's that's what most people tell me my problem is I don't get up early enough to catch fish in the catch because like by the time you need sunglasses it's officially fish. too late. <laughs> so I, I'm just not a more early morning riser. Mm -mm. Now I will get out I will get out late, you know, around evening sunset and trying to get out your name. LaShonda. Thank you. I knew it was Shauna something. LaShawn Duff. Got it. Yes. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, this is LaShonda. This is LaShonda. I don't, I don't, because I always like, hey, that's John's wife. No, she has a name. <laughs> I don't mind being John's wife. Because <laughs> a lot of the times when I take him to stuff, he's LaShonda's husband. So. Yeah. You know, that's right. <laughs> Latanya out here catching. I tell you. That was pure luck. I was just reeling it in. I think I'm trying too hard. Where you, did you catch it on the shrimp? The shrimp on the shrimp and fish, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a hors d'oeuvre, you know. Yeah. Little bougie fish. definitely been a change of scenery and man it has been awesome meeting some great people at the water rally and of course the best part one of the best parts is having this as the venue even the people attending the venue have been saying that's the best part to catch a fish but you know how that goes i do know how that goes i've been fishing probably a hundred times in my life and i've never caught a fish oh goodness <laughs> so i do know exactly how it goes well so hold a string open the bell oh you let the string go close the bell all right wind it up and then get the string to yes like that Open the bell. This is too many steps. <laughs> I hate the button one. Why? Because it just, I don't know how to use it. All right, close the bell. This rod is, this rod is good. We returned to find Sonny watching the finals of the AKC Ultimate Dog Relay Races on ESPN. If you've never seen Flyball Relay Racing, Google it. Very entertaining. We ate a late lunch, gave Sonny a little outside playtime, then Daniel and I decided to check out the other campground amenities. Well, we're gonna go and see what the clubhouse looks like. Gonna attempt to play a game of pool or two to 
practice for Papa. <laughs> we coming for you, Papa. So I'm sure that's all we're we gonna, coming. I'm sure, that's all we're gonna do there. Uh, hello. <laughs> we are coming. You're so, crazy. huh? You're crazy. Well, <laughs> they're used to probably people vlogging. You know, this is such is the life of a YouTuber. Now, I'm not saying I'm a great YouTuber, but you should make videos to post on your YouTube. That I am, son. If you're worldwide known. Them. Good or not, I am a YouTuber. <clears throat> The campground has a cute playground area, an outdoor covered gathering area with two big screen TVs, and a gated pool area. It also has a beautifully decorated enclosed clubhouse, including multiple seating areas with board games, bathroom facilities, a kitchen area, and the reason we came, the pool table. this way away from the glass that would be smart so put uh -uh, down here put oh, yes right, right, right. break away right. from the glass JD and Jonathan decided to head back out to the evening events of the Alabama water rally and stopped by to make sure Daniel and I were not locked out of the RV. The day turned out to be more eventful than we thought. We learned some new skills around the campsite, did the things we love to do, made some new friends at the water rally, and had a blast at the clubhouse. So long as we're willing to learn new things, be flexible to change, and enjoy the moments we are in, we'll always find pleasure wherever we are. Back to the camera. All right. That was fun. I got my, I got my RV partner back. <laughs> I love it. Definitely lost money if I was at the casino. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't putting up no money. There were no lucky charms involved. No lucky charms involved. <laughs> 
we played cards. I don't think I put that in the video. Let's watch. Oh, it's up here. Yeah. Um, we played cards one night and we were <laughs> using Lucky Charms as our gambling. Playing poker. Yes, we were. And um, Daniel was acting like he was losing big, like he was losing the rent money or something. <laughs> He's not very good at, at uh, dealing with the stress of, of losing. So, oh, son, how has your spring break started off so far? Good. All righty. Got one more day here at, um, yes, because daddy has the water route. Like, I don't know how many times Tomorrow I Tomorrow, too? I thought it was only <laughs> No, it's, it's, um, two, it was actually Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday morning. We're in the dark now. We are back at the camper and I'm probably gonna close out the video here because I feel like I need a shower. So that's what I'm going to do. In the next video, we cross the Florida state line and arrive at Camp Margaritaville to find ourselves camping next to some very familiar faces. We get to play with some of Papa's favorite toys. I reconnect with an old friend and the boys get to hang out with their cousins and we make a splash at the pool and convince Mima to go down the water slide. If you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a new post. And as always, thanks for watching.